Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the live coverage of the Predator Germany Open. It's day four here at a beautiful Atlantic Hotel in Bremen, Germany. Our final match for today is Ip Tung Pong from Hong Kong against Moritz Neuhausen from Germany. My name is Ralf Eckert. Alongside with me in the commentary booth is Tim De Ruiter. Hello, Tim. Hi. How are you doing? And before we gonna start, before we start a match, I mean Moritz already did with his break. We like to thank our sponsors like Predator Group, Q Sports International, Kamui Brand. Alpha Coin, Cryptocurrency, Relife, Hansestadt Bremen Innovations, and Teleo Logistics. And so let's concentrate now on the match. So, Tim, do you have a favorite here in this match? Um, it's tough to say. Uh, Ip already played on the TV table. Mm -hmm. I think it was yesterday or two days ago. So he already experienced how, how it is around the arena and with the cameras so yeah i think that could be an advantage yeah but on the other side neuhausen has been playing a lot of tournaments and second um played on the tv table at the world nine ball championships against jason shaw so knows yeah knows at how it goes at least i gave you the first chance for a free pick now i pick moritz neuhausen as the favorite well you <laughs> should because it's a german and you're german so <laughs> yes and i'm curious to have a closer look now on his game because i heard so many things about him but he lives on the other end of the country near cologne and i'm in berlin so we don't see each other way too often but i know that he got uh, I know the trainers and they take good care of him that's on one hand Günther Geisen the youth national coach from Germany and Christian Reimering uh, which is uh, yeah a well known well known instructor in Germany so a nice kick resave yes, from Ip So let's see. Not easy to jump this with the cue ball stuck to the rail. Cannot yeah. really put any spin or something. Yeah, and a pretty long distance to the ball, to the five ball here. <coughs> Bang! Powerful jump, which was needed for this kind of distance. And it didn't turn out way too good for him, but there are still some difficulties here, especially when I look at the three ball. He didn't miss that much. So it was a Yeah, nice he attempt. might choose to play safe, put the cue ball in between the eight and the three. Uh, did not try to bump mm -hmm. the three. Would have been real nice if he got in the yeah, just in between them both. Yeah. That's a yes, sir. Um, I expect Moritz to kick this two ball with some pace. Uh -huh. to in case if he hits it, he gets some distance going on as well. Mm -hmm. Because there's not really any other balls on the left side of the table where he could get lucky behind he played it soft and he missed it barely so that's a foul ball in hand for Dick Tung Pong from Hong Kong but I know also the trainer from Ip Tung Pong it's Wayne Griffiths he is the director of the Spor Hong Kong Sports Institute there and yeah. But when we see on paper, we got Ip Tung Pong, with, uh, he just won the Hong Kong Open last year in nine ball. So that's a big achievement. And on the other side, with Moritz Neuhausen, we got a two times world champion in the youth division. But I really don't know how hard it was to win the Hong Kong Open. But it's if it's an open tournament and in Hong Kong, and then you see all the Asian players, if they take part, that must have been a pretty tough field. Then. Well, they have uh, a couple good players in Hong Kong. Um, well, yeah, not only Hong Kong, but uh, you know, when it's open, I, I expect also Philippines, Chinese people, and everyone nearby then it would be a it. big achievement like yeah. even more big yeah 
Got a little short on this five. Would have liked to be more straight. Needs good control over that six ball. Look at the cue ball. Oh, this. Yeah, good control over both balls, but speed wise, very tough shot to play here. Well, Morris is calling the referee here for whatever reason. Referee John Lehman from New York. Oh. Okay. I lost the cue ball there. Good hit, but now I guess he got maybe still a little chance to knock the seven ball in the other corner. Thin hit here. He might also choose to play the seven, ten, nine. Because if he hits it in the face, the 10 can go off the 8, or we maybe... Can, we can see that, seconds. or you can see that very good from our point of view, but it's hard from a player point of view to take this even in consideration, right? If you don't make a turn around the table. Yeah, I don't think this was the right shot to play. Did not really see a lot of future in this. What does he even try to do? To try to come straight back with the cue ball and hey, hopefully get it behind the 10? Ten. 10 seconds. Yeah, and a pretty doable layout here. Can choose to Seven. roll the 8 into the 9. Can also choose to st make a stop shot and let the 8 move a little bit. And ah, he uh. made. He gave himself some little challenge here. Accidentally, it could have been much easier. Oh, that was difficult. That was... He gave away such a nice opportunity here. Hmm? Yeah, unexpected. Not especially with this miss, but the uh, position before, right? Yeah. So, Ip Tong Pong, ready to take the first game. We're playing two sets, races to four, winner break. And when the score ties 1-1, one, one, we're playing a deciding shootout. Ip Tong Pong draws first blood. Yeah. Miss up one, nothing. I guess the most of our viewers are familiar with our format here. Two winning sets, races to four. If there's a tie in sets, we're gonna make a shootout and we play winner break format. So Ip Tong Pong will stay for the next break. Normally you would might think that a hey, those world class players they are capable of running out a whole set. I would agree here, yes, but it's much more difficult if you do this by hand racking like we do here, the traditional way. So it's much harder to figure out the break and usually they use a lot more power. Look at this what he uses here. Yeah, he has that little break cloth. Yeah. Or specially designed. Is unlucky, was a good break, yeah. and got kissed in the side pocket. This is very unlucky for Ip. Let's have a closer look at this one. So, here you see the quality, gets one of the balls in the side pocket, but the kick maneuvered the cue ball. Yeah, of course he didn't have the cue ball on the string on that break. Yeah. Could have been better. Could have been more straight. But uh, to get kicked like this in the side pocket, that's something that doesn't re really happen that often. So. 
think would you this go is key two, shot here. Two rails for the four in the middle pocket, or would you stun it? I like that. Two rails for the middle pocket. Yeah, here it is. That's the most natural path of the cue ball. Yeah, and also playing forward gives you the chance to mm -hmm. have better speed as well. Mm -hmm. Playing forward is always more controllable than playing draw shots. Yes. Or, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, needs a good angle on the six here. Needs to be cautious, don't want to get straight or on the rail. Nice checking the angles. And here you really see from his pre-shot routine that he has uh, had a really proper training, professional training throughout the years. He's already playing even though he's still so young. Yeah, they do this a lot in Germany as well, the routine. They uh, start from young and make sure that the basics are right. That's why there's a lot of good players in Germany, in my opinion. Yep. Attention, please. And a bunch of champions. <coughs> Always good at the European Championships. And even at the Euro Tour. Yeah. Look at this. He got something similar like, like before. I mean, a little bit yeah, A little better. less angle, but still a small tester. Ooh. Okay. okay. So Moritz Neuhausen ties up the score at 1-1, one, one, race to four. Okay, we will be back while John is taking care to wreck the balls. So here we are back and let's check out the break from the two times world champion Moritz Neuhausen. Two ball was close, three ball a little slow. Quality wise it was good, but not a, not a good result, right? Did not really have a feel for the table yet, breaking. Of 
course it was his first break, so needs to work. The two ball came low. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if he's capable of breaking harder, but he needs it. Look at this. He gave himself some difficulty. Oh no, it, looks, it looked to me like he's almost out of position by blocking the four ball, but he's not. Oh, oh maybe he was <laughs> blocked. <laughs> I shouldn't have talked this into his shot. Yeah, I'm a little surprised he left himself so straight. Could have done easily draw mm -hmm. back the cue ball one or two balls more. Mm -hmm. So there's hard to find a pocket here. Only this corner pocket where the seven is might be available, is it? Or is he going for a safety? If the pocket is not available, he goes for a safety. Here it is. And it's a good safety. Yeah. Found the coverage behind the seven and the eight and blocks the easy kick shot from the short rail with the six and the three. Yeah. So he would need, hmm. So he might choose to sh kick using the short rail on the le on the top side of the table, and then with right spin to go towards the long rail. Two between rails between five, or maybe just one rail to go between the five and the nine. Yeah, yeah, possibly two rails with the with the long with rail. the long rail. Yes, yeah. I like this. Here it goes. Oh, that was it was pretty close. Good, good try, mm -hmm. but good tries don't count. Really, no reward for good tries. Come on. <laughs> and a uh, nice layout here. Moritz Neuhausen. Pretty obvious layout. So you see, that's good schooling here. And yeah, this, the trainers are working with him are Günther Geisen and Christian Reimering, good friend of mine too, both of them. We are, I will see them again uh, in a couple weeks in Hungary to our annual training camp over there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I ever seen Christian Reimering. Really? Yeah. How does this come? You're not too far from the border, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, and yet we never really met each other. Is that right? You should at least give him a visit if you are next time near in Cologne. I mean, he, he would be, uh, let's say, um, yeah want me to say Leverkusen at his hometown <laughs> <laughs> rather than Cologne <laughs> so got a little straight on the six decides to just take it easy and play the stop shot instead of cheating the pocket to get closer to the seven mm -hmm. I think this is key shot quite enough just center left to get out of the rail like that and here hopefully he gets the preferred angle to come easy down to the yeah. 10 ball but I'm pretty sure he can handle any kind of angle as long as he has a good shot at the 9 oh he decides to play it in the corner I would have been okay if I had the wrong angle, but at least shooting at the side, mm -hmm. so to move the cue ball around would have been okay. Well, it would be the same for me, yeah, I would yeah. agree here. But he decided to get shape for the corner. Oh. oh. And I think it's just a little, a little edge. Unexpected just a mistake, choice. yeah. He's going... <laughs> Yeah, left hip with a cut shot on the nine. And he's going... Cue ball on the rail, so yeah. it's not a gimme. Absolutely. He can also scratch, and he's not able to give a lot of spin here, because cue ball is on the rail. All right. So Ni nice shot. Very nice. And because he cheated pocket that much, there was no risk for 
from scratch. Yeah. And Ip Tong Pong takes the third game, leading 2-1 to one against Moritz Neuhausen from Germany. Moritz Neuhausen will kick himself and he's back in his hotel room yeah, for this little mistake. He looks pretty disappointing. He yeah. hasn't really done much wrong yet, but yeah, that's right. still was pretty hard on himself for the beginning of the match. Probably a perfectionist. Perfectionists have this ability that they really ha are hard on themselves. But I always try not to be that hard on myself in a match. In a training, yes, and then it's good to be a perfectionist, right? But in a match, I mean, at least one person should be on your side, that's yourself, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of players that uh, yeah, start to fight with themselves in the yeah. chair. That's right. So, Ip Tong Pong breaking with the little stroking cloth. Mm -hmm. I like that. I've seen that before, but you see it not very often. A dry break. Needs a little bit more pop, I think. Cue ball is a little bit too basic. Yeah, a little bit short on the, the side pocket, the second ball. But you see how nice the ball spread out when you use a center break. And on the other side, you get the side break. When you, where they uh, will be closer together at one side of the table. Breaking from right, they come closer to the right side of the table and breaking from the left on the left. Yeah, Moritz played two rails on the one. Little short stroke on this one ball he played. That's why he got a little short on this two. But still manageable, as you can see, and yeah, the five and the six are together, so that's not really a thing to work with. Mm -hmm. Maybe from the seven to the eight, because mm -hmm. the eight only goes in the top left, so that needs a little bit more attention. Let's see if he can cruise through that rack without any further difficulties. Yeah, he's pointing with his cue where he likes to get position. Some service to the commentators for sure, right? That they don't that they don't do anything wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good speed. Can now work on getting the right angle on the seven. That's important, right? Because the eight one ball one uh, pocket is blocked, the other one is not. It's, oh, he's going for the seven in the side. Could That's have chosen to leave the cue ball on the long rail and shoot it in the corner. Yes. Or a little bit off the rail. Oh. But there's more ways to roam. Tia is pointing again. That's a very nice service. I like that. And this to point where the, to the, the position you like to get as a player, it also helps you that uh, the whole body coordination, right? It helps you to build up the imagination you should do before you attempt a shot and to avoid negative thoughts or negative pictures when you sometimes see the cue ball hiding behind some other ball, right? So with these signs, you give yourself a nice positive picture of what you like to do, actually. Yeah, it's uh, really important to get very detailed before you drop down on the shot. Mm -hmm. So you just know exactly what's going to happen. Also because of muscle memory. Yes, and also, even though you make a mistake, it gives you a nice feedback for the next time to get, just to get a better development. Yeah. And this 10 ball to draw the score two to two. Very nice. He cruised through it without further difficulties. And, and we'll, we'll be, be right back.
So here we are back and let's check out the break. He's changing to the side. Side break from Moritz Neuhausen. Powerful. One ball a little bit too long. Anything else? No. Not successful on this break again. Here we see the repeating of it. Pretty square in the center, so quality wise it was a good break, but not rewarded. Yeah, a good safety shot here from Ip. Yes. Eliminating almost all kick shots. How about Might uh, be able to kick maybe one rail and yes, put sir. some spin on there. One long rail. I would need the top view of this. Here you go. Yeah, maybe right side from the 10 with left spin to left increase spin. the chance of making the one, maybe. And you can figure it out when you know where the income outcome Thank angle is. And then you can add, with every diamond, you can add a tip size on the, on the cue ball to get it more accurate. It's like a reference. If you have practiced it before, it's pretty helpful. So... I would guess I would put more speed on this. I don't want to leave the one in front of the hole, but oh. Ooh, ooh, that was a nice attempt. I would guess he was needed like two tip sizes to get into that bar. Yeah, very good try from young Moritz Neuhauser. And he's left the one on. But ne need to be careful. He's running into that five ball, so maybe a little draw, double kiss. Of the five, yeah, oh. no, not necessarily here. So thin cut, probably because the cut even helps him when he when he gets for the tangent lines. Maybe a little bit like a stop shot. Yeah, and might also do. choose to oh, play the safety behind the five ball and get the two mixed up yeah. around the six, eight, three. Yeah, that's a good option too. But needs more draw. I think he's five. left the gap. Yeah. And if Moritz makes his two, just if he can roll this two ball in, he's guaranteed on the three. So, of course, it's a long shot, but there's mm -hmm. a high reward. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. He did that good. Very good hit. Yeah, and a good angle to work with on this three ball. Yes. Decided to play it the short way. I wonder that he stayed on this side. I would expect to uh, uh, stun it a little bit more to get on the other side of the four ball. But if he feels comfortable, we accept it. He's the boss at the table right now. There's a, a steep cut on this four. You can let the cue ball loose though in between the s nine and the eight. But nice cut. Yeah. Mm. Good speed, has a nice angle, can cheat the pocket a little bit and go wherever he wants to go. Mm -hmm. So that's a little stun follow, I would say. Going into the rail and a little bit out. Maybe he can hold Ten it directly. Okay. A little bit more out, but he's okay. Yeah. He cheated Ma the pocket a little bit too much. Yes. But he's taking care of his angles, so that makes his life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, also has a pretty compact technique. Doesn't really do big strokes. Yeah. Everything is short and and solid. Yeah. Very solid game. Oh. oh, he wobbled it in. <coughs> yeah, mm. talking to himself there. Not Tom. really happy <laughs> with the way he struck that ball. My, my inner self dialogue would be, oh, that's so perfect to go three <laughs> rails inside it. <laughs> 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 I would push myself. <laughs> and this 10 ball to take the lead in this first set. To go on the hill, Moritz Neuhauser from Germany. Leading 3-2 in the race to four. And he will take care of the next break. I'm curious to know what kind of break. If he stays another time, another try from the side break or goes back to the center break. <coughs> this uh, table has been breaking very nicely from the center. Mm -hmm. Seen almost everybody move after the first two days to the center mm -hmm. um, so yeah if i were moritz i would go back to the center and try to yeah put more pop on there mm -hmm. has to yeah hit the gym <laughs> i like that put more pop into it yeah john lehman wrecking the balls the arcos 2 reserve billiard balls from predator with the arrow rack I'm really looking forward to get my new set of uh, Predator Arcos two balls. Yeah, and it uh, it looks like they're gonna they're gonna be used in a lot of tournaments, and it sounds like they're not really going to stop this tour. So I might have to buy a set myself to Look get prepared for the tournaments. He tried again the side break without success. Maybe we can have a closer look here. This time he was hitting it a little bit on the right, but you rarely see the one ball going three rails around like that. Yeah, he's been uh, cutting the break a lot from the side. One was on the left side, yeah, and this one, one was on the other side. Maybe needs to have a full hit he on the one. the center of it, right? Yeah. He adjusted a little bit too much, maybe. But I guess it could have done the same adjustments on the center but let's see so here it makes a two does not get on the uh, makes the one does not get on the two he's playing the safety here and a six and look at this he's very that's good that's a great cue ball very good, good in safeties yeah more it's looking at the one rail kick yeah i think it's his only option does not really have a two rail or <coughs> something yes, easier <coughs> 10 seconds let's see what kind of speed he's putting on that okay that's nice it's a good hit not leaving a an easy shot i think it goes to the corner but needs to be very accurate in between the three and the eight He called it. Extension, please. Oh. <coughs> Difficult shot, but he got away with it, I would say so, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little, little surprised he played it this way. I was looking maybe to float it in more. Like rolling. But more it's kicking the same way as he did his last shot. But now calling it in the corner. He has a good uh, chance of a resave here if he j just slightly hits it. Uh, oh, no, oh, it's a jump He's jumping. Cue. He's okay. jumping. If he can stop the cue ball there, that would be pretty good. Oh. Wow. Did he call the bank Look shot? Look at in? this. <laughs> <laughs> what a super shot. I would call and it I think he <laughs> got on the three as well, so. 
I would call it a shot of the day, isn't it? Yes, yes, for sure. Bank, cha bank jump, the whole table lengths. With nice. position, I think he can make this three in the side. Yeah. Ten seconds. Nice. Even the shot, you know, it's dangerous to shot after a very nice shot like that. <laughs> yeah, they say it's the most difficult shot in pool. <laughs> the shot after a great shot. Yeah. So, can choose both corner pockets. I like to shoot it in the low left. Can also choose to shoot it in the low right and bump mm -hmm. the eight. Oh. Oh, unfortunately. A miss. Wasn't the easiest shot, of course, but. Uh and a good chance here for Ip Tong Pong. Traveling two rails to the five ball. Here we go. Exactly. Looking to level the score. To have a hill hill first set. Both players not really showing that many, that much nerves mm. yet. They look pretty comfortable, comfortable in yeah. the arena. But, but this could change soon. Nice draw, but not so nice to have it near the rail, right? Yeah, I might have to choose to play two rails here with a uh, high right. Just or to make sure you get on the seven instead of getting behind the nine. Like yeah, this. Like this. Good speed as well. Didn't really want to risk to get closer to the ball, so this is good. If he can play this two rails and get nice on the eight. Very nice truck. I like the way how he played it. Real smooth. Mm -hmm. Smooth stroke. And here it's a natural outcome out of the rail, maybe a touch of left side here. He's aiming a little bit low here in the cue ball. Uh huh. Maybe he preferred to stun it. Yeah, was maybe a little bit too low in the cue ball. That's why he bumped the nine, little risky, but it worked out for him and nice position for the ten ball to go hill hill. Nice. Ip Tong Pong. Hill Shoots Hill. Scores. 3-3 three, three in the first set. Race to four. So, I'm looking forward to the upcoming thriller within the next drag. Like I said, I think this game is it's a pretty close game. Both players... Yep. Up for the challenge. John Lehman. And here you see also the wreck from Predator, the Predator wreck triangle. It does a pretty good job here. Here we see the jump shot here. The shot of the day, I would say so, from Moritz Neuhausen. Awesome. So let's check the break from Ip Tong Pung. Near the center, but quite a little bit on the right. But missing one of the two balls, F behind the one, nothing went in, Moritz got a shot on the one, two, three, four, five, offers probably a combination or a side pocket, so a little bit to work, but not too much. Yeah, it, it's manageable, I think the 5-7 is a combination, so... 
which just makes has it the 6-8. Because the seven will be gone, so he has to do some traveling from the mm -hmm. six to the eight. So let's see if he's cruising through that rack also without further mistakes. How did he do here? Come up a little Ooh. short. A little short, yeah. And he's hooked. Don't think he can still make it. And if he could, then... Then it would be uh, for the five ball maybe on the side. No, going three rails. But needs a little still more for the combination. Okay, okay, so still managed to make the four. Camera view was a little deceiving. Little draw of this 5 7, moving the 5 a little forward. Mm -hmm. And here he can't uh, get a straight shot on the, on the 6. I mean, so he has to get some angle and crossing after that twice the short table. Yeah, left himself a little long here too, so. And that's the key shot here. This will be a good tester. Oh. To see if he has nerves of steel. Yeah. And also the question is if he goes uh, with a little draw and passing the middle line or going, keeping it down like this and shoot the eight long in the little foot corner. Little tricky angle on this eight. If he plays forward, he might hook himself behind the 10 ball. Naturally, so it might run into the 10. So he needs some stun or some spin. He did good. Very good. Yeah, hit it a little bit more thick. Uh -huh. Pushes the cue ball through the 8. Very nice shot. And looks like he's scraping through the first set here. Yeah, a really nice run out here on Hell Hill. Absolutely, we will be back soon. And so. we're back at the Prado Germany Open here in Bremen, the Atlantic Hotel. 
Ip thinking here, where should I break from? Lost the first set, Hill Hill. So this match is close. Oh, Big Cuba, pop. Cuba jumps up jumps a lot here and the two balls were a little bit too long even this time yeah so i had a couple breaks where they came up too short now decided to put more pop on there mm -hmm. which is a good thing he changed which is a good thing but he overdone it a little bit too much so needs to tone the speed down so in my opinion either way you have to uh, when they are coming too short either way you have to speed up or pop up a little bit To but make them longer. Another easy layout with that 5 9 in the tree. Good safety here, eliminating the top rail kick. Still has a good kick shot using the lower long rail. If you can oh. hit the right side of the one. From this point of so view, you can really see how difficult it is to reach it. Oh. I think if he hits the Lower long rail and hits the. Seconds. Oh, he's jumping. Really oh. tough to get over the ball and hit it so precise. Did a pretty good job there, but mm -hmm. pretty good does not really count in this game. It's not easy to jump a ball size distance. Uh, needs uh, special equipment, special training, or. <laughs> Just some expert to do that. Yeah, cutting the one, running into the three. Oh, the three bumped the two away. But it's still okay. Soft, thin cut. Yeah. Or will he go up and down all the way? Probably Does not, not really have a bunch of <laughs> space to go up and down with, so yeah. decides to slow roll. Pretty tough shot, in my opinion, and he executed this really nicely. So, if he gets just a little angle on the four, then he can stop or stun it nearby for the five. Just get some distance from the rail. Even that is not so necessary, as long as you can make a, at least a stop shot on the five for the six. Yeah, he got at this little angle. He can get a pretty comfortable position on the six. Yeah, needs a little bit more effort to go from the eight to the nine. I think that's from here the key shot. It's pointing with the cue to get that position. High left or low right. One rail yeah. or two rails. He's going for low right. Which yeah. is pretty much the most common way, isn't it? Mm hmm So this angle is really important. Doesn't want to get straight. I like to have a big angle on this eight. Taps the table, wanted the cue ball to slow down. Mm -hmm. Should still be okay, but would have liked a little bit more angle. Yeah, he clock. needs a pretty powerful stroke here. So asking the cue ball to get cleaned. He can afford it, he didn't have an extension so far, right? Because the clock, oh. They stop the clock. Yeah, they stop the, the clock. Yeah. Sometimes they don't, right? Yeah. We all remember the moment at the Moscone <laughs> Cup. <so. laughs> That's right. So, looking for a very firm stun shot with a little left spin. Yeah, it is. Pretty crisp. Just enough. Did not want to get shorter on that. But this should be okay. And 
and this stem ball to draw first blood in this second set. Looking to avoid the shootout here, Moritz Nehauser. Dead center in the pocket. So. And Ip Tung Pong taking a break, taking a timeout. Can he? Yeah, wanting to take a break. But he can't. He can only if it's if he's if it's if it's his inning, not on the inning from the opponent. So yeah, I'm not really sure what rule we are forcing here. Um, Ip Tong Pong from Hong Kong here. 26 years old, started the game at the age of 13. Started with snooker, but soon after two years, he switched to pool. Are we on a break? We're not on a break. No. <laughs> so, Moritz goes back to the center of the table, center break, or near center. Wow. Yeah, really great controlled break, um, but he's not really changing the the power or yeah. the pop. So yeah, normally I would try next because he's using the pop here, right? Powerful, but uh, how about going <laughs> just playing? With a with a level cue and just high on the cue ball and try that next. Yeah, so can choose to roll the one ball in. Oh, he's traveling a lot. Ooh, it was a little risky. I mm -hmm. think if he could have rolled the one ball in and cut the two mm -hmm. for the three in the same pocket as the two. Um, but wouldn't hurt him to play a safety here behind the six. He got a um, lot of balls for cover available exactly and also with the four ball that does not really go in much pockets he chose to get the distance safety wow <laughs> look at that cue ball wow that's an amazing shot from a pong tong might be the safety of the day how about that yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah we al we already had the jump of the day so <laughs> So more it's trying to find a gap maybe between the nine and the five. Very difficult if he tries to. Can he hit behind the side pocket or has he hit before? Here you see, he can hit behind the side pocket. That so he might be able to play with a lot of draw. A lot the of draw, then you can get a curve after the rail contact, yes. Too much of a curve or too early the curve. Hard to judge. And a good safety from Ip. Not really the reward that he was trying to get because the four is also still in a tough spot and the three did not really get easier mm -hmm. from here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he might actually choose to play another safety to roll up on the six. But how about just Ten shoot the, the three? Extension, please. Oh. He's going from there. I would have tried to uh, come from the sh other side, just uh, cut the two ball in and get a position on the three for the foot corner, <coughs> maybe even straight, but let's see. Oh, he's going for the side pocket, but Got with this kind of angle and he cannot really get the other side, right? Well, you might be able to miss the five ball and go with high right uh -huh. for the four in the same side, po uh, same side pocket. Might but be possible. But, but if he makes it on the outside, so if he cheats the pocket a little bit too much, he might run into the five and then mm. there's no future. So this is not easy at all. Can he stun over? Yeah, he tried to cheat the pocket yeah. a little bit. And 
and he left a good shot for Moritz Neuhausen. Ip Tong Pong getting a little frustrated. It was a difficult shot and opened up the four ball to this mm -hmm. same pocket as he's shooting the three. And after the four comes the next challenge with the five. Does not want to get on the rail. Yeah, he, <laughs> he tried to, <laughs> he had to give a little bump. <laughs> yeah, okay. well in this case I'm playing the five six combination. He was hoping to get a nice angle to maybe do more with the cue ball. Or is he trying to play two rails? Oh, yeah, he tried to it cheat there. the pocket a mm. little bit too. And very difficult shot in my opinion with the cue ball on the rail. Would you consider the carom into the 10? Um, I think in this case it's actually possible because you can get the four ball pretty safe, yes, just banking it over to the other side of the table. He called it the 10. A little two way shot. 10 seconds. Oh. He should have caught yeah, four, right? Really option. <laughs> um, Your option. Not really a bad leave. No. I mean, to shoot this combination the length of the table is extremely difficult. I guess it was worth a try. I would sure. have done the same, probably. Yeah, if he made it, he would have won the game, and now it's so okay. Who is shooting now? I think it's Moritz. Mm -hmm. Ip playing with a wooden shaft. Moritz goes for the full attack. Ip shaking his head. Not really sure why. He gets another approach at the table. Yeah. Can run into the nine ball with top spin and still cut the six or shoot the six in the corner. Well, he decided to do more and got really nice on the six. Yeah. Just a three drive and draw shot. Right. Straight seven, or at least not too much angle. Because if you got too much angle, you have to cross the table to get back on the eight ball. So like this, that's hard to hold the cue ball, right? So yeah. He so he's playing just center ball, maybe a little top spin, going two rails up and down. Main thing is, I was going to say, main thing is just make the ball. The shape would come by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I guess the mistake was. Not enough draw on the ball before because to get less angle on the seven. Yeah, more it's lucky to get another visit to the table after yeah, the reckless yeah. combination shot. Yes. And yeah, I think Ip is really dying to take a timeout. He wants to get out of that arena now. That's right. And as long as more is on the table, he won't get an opportunity to do that. Unless we're having a break soon. So this 10 ball to go 2 nothing up in this second set. All right. Nice camera view on this ball for the tied up. No, 2 nothing lead for Moritz Neuhausen in the second set. Yeah. Moritz shaking his head there. Well. And we'll be back after a short break. Stay tuned.
So here we are back at our Predator Germany Open center court table with the break from the other side. Yeah, he, now he's just moving the cue ball around to see. To do something different. Yeah. And he gets something different. Yeah, not a guaranteed shot here on the one. But the balls are spread nicely, not really any problems on the table. So if he can manage to make the one, he has a good opportunity here to go on the hill. Did he call the one on the side? I think so. Tough shot to play. Mm. These side pockets are pretty tough. Tougher than playing to the corner pockets a little fortunate to leave the one on the rail is he cutting this he tried and he didn't left too much here did he maybe not he sure can if he can make this can at least see the one ball Mm -hmm. So he could bank it over to the short rail with the high right. But he's playing center ball, so he's playing the two rails and. But running into the seven ball, otherwise it would have been quite okay safety then. Yeah, more it's really looking disappointed, looking disappointed in, his, in himself, um. even though he's up. I'm not sure that uh, why he's oh. that much of disappointed. I mean, I know he can play certainly better, right? And he's expecting probably more from by himself. But I mean, yeah, he's winning, and he only needs two more games to get to the last 32. So mm -hmm. I mean, I won't complain. <laughs> Maybe just uh, blood from a perfectionist, right? Ten seconds. Nice shot, nicely controlled. Really needed a big swing. You can see a little snooker background on him mm -hmm. when he does that back swing. Like it really opens up. Extension, please. Real That's straight. Right. That's right, yes. So, if he can get on that four ball, can choose to play two rails to the center of the table, or can choose to play the four in the side pocket. Mm -hmm. Oh, he played this real soft. Try to just play one reel, and that's a good shot. That's I didn't like that. <laughs> I do, yes. And he can follow it just with a, another natural follow shot here for the six. So that's a probably nice cruising home here. Yeah, looking to get his first game on the board here. The second set gets some momentum going after mm -hmm. his timeout. He's at least looking a little bit less aggravated by himself, less disappointed. <coughs> I guess. From an old friend of mine, one time he made a definition what billiard is. Billiard is if grown-up men standing around a table and are not satisfied with the outcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just in general. <laughs> yeah, just that's in correct. general. Yeah. <laughs> They're just standing around a table with their, with their sticks and be, uh, being disappointed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just such a difficult game, and there's always something to improve. There's always something that could go better. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's a good good quality to be a perfectionist, but mm -hmm. you need to give yourself some breathing space, too. Don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah. I would think that, uh, yeah, that you... Uh, it's a good thing to be a perfectionist, especially in training, but not so much in in a match I would even say go 
that far that it should be the opposite. That you really try to encourage yourself no matter what's gonna happen. <laughs> nice close up from our predator rack and predator balls. Yeah, the Arcos two balls with the predator arrow rack triangle. Predator providing all the equipment for this tournament with the apex tables. Yes, apex tables, Arcadia re reserve cloths, arena lights, Arcos two balls, arrow rack triangle, predator bridges, and predator pure chalk. So a little bit less pop and both balls came too low. Mm -hmm. But not an easy opener here for Moritz. Try to roll up on the five ball. Not sure if he leaked out a little edge. <coughs> they are checking. So, based on Ip Bong Tong, his body language, I would say yeah, no. Here see. we have the view. Very nice. So he cannot see the edge. So he has to go rail. Yeah. So he could he could go straight and into the rail and put like one and a half tip size spin on it, or. Yeah, played like it with this. a good speed. I really like that he put some speed on this just to create some distance. Just, yeah, to get them apart. In 8-ball you might be using a low speed because if you don't make the ball you like it to block the pocket maybe, right? But in 9-ball, 10-ball it doesn't make any sense. Then you like to split them yep. apart. And uh, hampered by the 3-ball here, bridging over the cue ball. Let's see how stable his forehand is. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty stable, doesn't really move. Yeah. But S a little bit attacking to go for that. Didn't really see much future on the two ball. Surprised he took a go on this. Yeah, it would be hard to get a position on the two and even if he, if he gets a look at it, it's blocked by the three, right? didn't expect that the one ball was going into the five probably or didn't take it into its calculation and now Moritz has a opportunity to get on the two for the side mm -hmm. difficult shot but, well, he can cut that in the side, I would believe so. And maybe can shorten it up by lots of right side spin. Or, yeah, to shoot maybe the two ball in the lower corner pocket. No, not too much. I would have chosen way more inside spin for a different position but let's see if there's a yeah there's only the side pocket available that needs precision if he tries to make it to the side and hit it before the side pocket there's a safety option oh, but he tried safety. to he's going for a safety and i think it's a nice spot Moritz can see the edge of the two, but if he tries to bank the two ball <coughs> two rails towards a short rail, he might run into the four. So he does not really have a lot of space to work with. Hmm. If he can hit it Attention thick enough, please. he might go jacked up and bank the two ball four rails around the table to get behind the ten. You think he can hit it that full from there? 
That's what I'm not sure about. Yes, sir. But isn't it wonderful on the other side? I mean, oh, look at this. Okay, he's doing good. Yeah. But isn't it wonderful on the other side that even though it doesn't matter how experienced you are, how many tournaments and years you already spent studying the game, that there always <coughs> will come up some situation you haven't had before and you have to take uh, the extension and think about it. What is the best solution there? Yeah, it's an ongoing process. Oh, doesn't want that six to go. And he might trap himself behind the nine ball here. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that cue ball. And Moritz got the <laughs> option. Oh, man. <laughs> Your option. <laughs> <laughs> Your option. Well, we know what's going to happen here. Ip is shooting. Oh, this is so brutal. Yeah. Of course, he could have anticipated on this, but look at how well he hit this yeah. cue ball. Ten seconds. And he's done this a couple of times this week. Yeah, such a good safety, actually, but just didn't went his way. So let's see how he good he can come yeah. out, out of his own safeties. But this looks, I don't see any way, only very artistic. Ah. Oh, he still oh, found a gap. Oh, wow, Ooh. that is a nice shot. Yeah, well, so he yeah, was very unfortunate, but made a good hit on the two. So there was a gap between 8 and 10 and behind the 5. Nice, very nice. But a good opportunity here for Moritz to get this second set on the hill and avoid the shootout. Mm-hmm. Something I hear a lot of players say. They say, yeah, that shootout. The players, they... Like, everybody seems to like the shootout. But they'd rather not play the shootout. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all tell me. Like, they say it's very nerve-wracking. Yeah. It's very hard. I saw, see all these comments on Facebook saying, yeah. oh, man, it's just, it's just a spot shot, you know? Like, it's too easy. Yeah. Make it more difficult. <laughs> I'm like, are you sure? Because I see pros struggle with this, so... Absolutely. And it's not really a spot shot. Come on, it's a little bit more thin than that. And yeah. So that's what makes internet always interesting, these comments. Yeah. They don't have to prove themselves. Yeah, another difficult layout from here. More it's looking good enough to seal the deal for this rack Here comes the 3-1 lead if he makes this 10 ball, and he does. Yeah, taps the table, knows he's a little lucky with mm -hmm. Ip snookering himself on that safety shot. It's just a fair gaze true. And also respecting the, yeah, the quality he put in into this game with his safety and coming out of his own safety. Yeah, 3-1 Moritz Neuhausen against Ip Tong Pong from Hong Kong. And this is a loser qualification match. So the loser is out and the winner goes to, to the last 32. Facial expression shows us mm -hmm. that he is not in the best mood. And the last 32 are going to play single elimination. So, a little miss hit on the break. He was trying to repeat the same, he was using the same position. 
he had before. Mm -mm. Still made a ball. Yeah. On the Ip last. thought he didn't make a ball, but the two ball got kissed in there. Yeah. So let's see what can he do with this one ball, this far away one ball. Yeah, he can choose to maybe shoot the one off the rail into the three to make it as a safety opportunity and always have a shot on the three. You can also keep it, cut it to the other side. I was going to <laughs> s just, just say cut it that. in. Come on, just cut it yeah, in. Yeah, just cut it <laughs> in, of course. Yeah, But left himself a long shot here. Cue ball on the rail. I would say traveling from the four to the five and the six. Yeah. Is the toughest in this rack. Tough shot here. Extension, please. Good recovery shot. And now it's hard to shoot that. Uh, let's see what kind of angle he gets on the six ball. He needs some angle, at least a little bit. Here it is. And he don't want to go. Oh, that requires quite some speed. You want to get that position and accuracy along the rail. That's yeah. not a gimme. Yeah, this is key shot here. Very precise, very precise. And he is pointing with his cue where you want to get the cue ball at. So he needs like a draw shot with a tip of right side spin. It's right speed. Got a little straight here. I'd like to stay away actually from that 10 ball. So moving forward is a little tricky. Why not just a stop shot? Yeah, leave. Oh, you got some angle to stun come. Stun over, yeah. So I now these two balls to finish the match. After all, I would say, if he's not delivering a mistake here now, I would say, even though he was pretty hard on him, on himself uh, during the match, he delivered a pretty solid game here. Yeah. Pretty solid match. He did not really make a bunch of mistakes. A couple strange choices and a couple unforced errors, but this 10 ball for the win. And Moritz Nehauser goes through to the last 32. So I hope you enjoyed our matches today and you're welcome. I hope you will be back for tomorrow's matches. We will post the lineup for tomorrow as soon as possible. And yeah, it was nice to have a commentary with you also again, Tim. Yeah, thank you, Rolf. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.